After the CBI arrested an AIA DMK student wing functionary along with two others in connection with the 2019 Polachi sexual abuse case, the party, after much outrage, has expelled the accused. His picture with the AIA DMK Mantri SP Velumani also has raised eyebrows. The DMK slammed EPS government, Kani Modi saying allegations that the AIA DMK members were involved have now come true. The case pertains to the year 2019, if you remember, where several women were sexually abused by a gang of five men who trapped them by befriending them on social media. The women were later sexually assaulted, videographed and threatened. The five key accused are already in custody. They were arrested by the CBI in April 2019. These arrests are made based on a complaint of a woman who stated that the accused tried to sexually assault her. People with uh, tainted uh, image, people who takes law into their hands, doesn't have any role in the party, doesn't find a place in the party. For, the, for your information, Arla Nandan the membership is terminated and he is being thrown out of the party. Uh, so AADMK is one party who doesn't entertain these kinds of behaviors from anybody for that matter in the organization. And it is this government which has saw the CBA inquiry into this case. Police under the chief minister in hmm. Tamil Nadu hmm. has become bad to worse. Hmm. And in this particular case, it was known even in February when this matter uh, surfaced that the people in the high places have involved in this matter. Mm -hmm. And uh, the AIDMK side and the, uh, the ministry level people tried to shield it because uh, their wards were also have linkages and all those things. Mm -hmm. Had the case not been transferred to the CBI, they would have hushed up and the Tamil Nadu police is becoming very, very usual for this kind of cover-up to the air. And several IPS officers, I accuse them, they don't behave of their IPS and they forget what kind of an oath they have taken when they pass out from their academy. Pramod is now joining us live. Uh, Pramod, do walk our viewers through the sexual assault case and also the flag that the IA DMK is facing at the moment and also bringing our viewers up to speed with the action that the IA DMK has taken now. Certainly, this case actually surfaced back in 2019, March and April period, and it was a complete disaster at that point because the way Tamil Nadu government handled it, it was a total disaster. In fact, the SP of Polachi, who was handling the case at that point, imagine this case was not like you know investigated initially by the police. The actual victim's family were the one who caught the culprits, who found out there were alleged video of several women. It's being said from 50, 60 to nearly 200 women abused by these men and recorded, and they handed over to the police officers. And the SP of police at that point, he gave out the victim's name and then said that any other victim possible who could, like, you know, wants to go ahead and file a complaint should do it. It turned into a complete disaster and uh, the Tamil Nadu government faced so much flack that it was immediately transferred to CBI. Five personnel were arrested at that point and after nearly two years currently, three are arrested and even now one of the arrested people was actually a part of AIDMK student wing until today morning. He has been only expelled today and that's the reason like you know, several questions are being put forward by the opposition and even MK Stalin has written uh, like I was given a statement claiming that anybody involved no matter which part of like the you know, kind of uh, ADMK functionary all culprits should be brought before justice. Absolutely. Uh, thanks uh, Pram Pramod for joining us with the very latest details on the Palachi horror. Hello everyone. This is Rahul Kamal here. Hope you enjoyed this video. For the latest news and analysis, like and subscribe the India Today YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated.